Today I'm going to uh, start uh, Grade 10 ICT lesson number two, right? That is uh, fundamentals of the computer system, right? Uh, normally uh, in, the, in our class we have done that part but we have to discuss and we have to revise those things that is very important and uh, sometimes you didn't I think uh, some some bodies are not completed this lesson so therefore uh, they can uh, complete this one right okay I thought uh, uh, some uh, that is some sometimes you, you haven't that second term test so, uh, but cannot say it, uh, sometimes they can give you the term test papers also right therefore uh, we have to uh, get ready but uh, normally uh, we finish your term test papers and all and submit it right okay now uh, you can remember the what is the computer that is the most basic thing right you know uh, a computer is a electronic device which accepts or collects data process them according to the given instructions and produce the desired output right so this is the definition of the computer right singular media uh, right? so that is very important uh, that this is the definition of the computer right okay we'll move to the uh, next so you know there are some special features with the computer you can remember right so we can revise those things that is one of the thing is speed right so that is very important and accuracy uh, uh, single media picking up the never the power accuracy efficiency car action above versatility right what a good up because I can pull on multitasking simultaneously they can do it is that computer can do uh, more uh, can achieve more task right and storing and retrieving right so there are so many uh, features right that those are very important uh, that's why normally this is the powerfulness tool in the uh, world, right? Okay, so there uh, here this is the single medium not okay we'll move to the next I think no need to discuss in, de in detail, but uh, I will ask some questions, right? Okay, therefore you cannot uh, move here and there, right? Okay and don't play any game and all right okay so you have to give the uh, give your attention right okay now uh, so you can remember the classification of computer uh, we can classify those computers according to the size and according to the technology right single media right so what are the things what are the computer types uh, yes, Hiroka, any problem with that? No, right? Uh, then, uh, what are the uh, computer types uh, according to the physical size? Supercomputers, right? Then, this is the most powerfulness computer, right? You can remember, we can use those type of computers to uh, solve the complex calculations, right? Normally, this is very rare because it is very expensive, right? So those are the highlighted points you have to remember, right? Uh, and you know, um, uh, some uh, NASA and all, they are using some uh, this type of computers, right? Api Lanka and the enter supercomputer right? Mainframe computer, you can remember in single media, we call that Maha Pariganake. Uh, mainframe computer, it is just like a cupboard, right? So we can use, there are so many terminals, uh, therefore we can use this machine. Uh, normally, there are so many persons can use this this machine at a time right so that is the uh, very special feature of this mainframe computer right Normally, you know, e-commerce servers, right? Some in most of the universities they have these mainframe computers and large uh, shopping complex they have mainframe computers, right? And banks, right? Mini computer. Normally, this is normally this is equals with the main computer, but uh, difference is. 
normally it has uh, that main main frame computer has many terminals but with the mini computer uh, it has only um, normally uh, not much of the main frame computer right make it a computer skip up it can keep them to product someone the way to pull one amok may main frame computers the number from a negative someone the window behind right normally mini computers also we are using as a uh, e-commerce servers right so that is very important you know there are so many uh, transactions going with the e-commerce server right simultaneously right take a serum see the window in a transactions you know it about a well over top of me about the computers you stand for long right and next one micro computers in the name of Kina should the party gonna go micro computers normally we are using micro computers right laptop desktop palm top all the personal computers we can consider as micro computers right Pudgala Pariganaka, Sia Labita, Shudra Pariganaka Lesser, Kian Ame Prakashakarana, Puluan Hari, I think a palm top, laptop, desktop, Sia Lama, Danguena. Okay, then according to the technology, you, you know, uh, if there are some, uh, normally most of the computers are using the digital digital signals, you know what is digital signal, that is one and zeros. One mean if there are positive uh, five voltage, we, uh, we uh, that uh, computer denote it as one. If it is zero voltage, computer denote it as zero, right? So plus five voltage again one. Zero voltage, you see, it is zero, right? So that that type of that type of discrete signal we can consider as digital uh, signals. Right, normally digital computers are used the normal uh, using the digital signals, right? Okay, so that is the uh, special feature of the digital computer, right? Singhana Pikina Pati Ankita Pariganaka at the Sankyanka Pariganaka. Hari we power chicken and ankita taranga at the sankyanka taranga, it is a habindu. Analog computers, pretty summer. Uh, pariganaka analog computers normally you know uh, digital signals are discrete signals but analog signals are analog signals normally you can see it has continuous signals right analog can it with some other can put a santhatika you can make it some month of each other longer digital signals can make it some month and a hair may have a vertical line make at the time the end of the happy to normally one and zeros one and zeros right it can be split signal scalar but here it used the continuous signals that name is analog signals right normally analog computers are using analog signals you know uh, there are some uh, uh, machines uh, you know that uh, automated uh, speed control systems in our vehicles also there are some systems and lock computer systems and lock chips right uh, normally it measure the analog uh, physical properties you know pressure and speed temperature all are physical properties right so those uh, normally you know that those are uh, continuous normally generate the current normally it, it has a continuous uh, signals right uh, just like a temperature it is normally continuously changing right one zero with the rain in hand in there so there are so many uh, physical properties we can measure by using analog computers right and hybrid computers uh, these type of computers uh, use uh, both analog and digital signals right example ECG machine right okay so you know uh, this is the classification of the computer right so those are the things you have to remember regarding the classification of computers okay now we can move to the next point uh, so this is the single medium classification right okay right now uh, this is very important right so now time to ask some questions i think uh, uh, normally you can remember this structure Right here, you can see commands here that uh, normally solid lines denote commands, right? Here, they, normally, this, 
this part is given some commands to other parts, right? And you can see the dotted line. Dotted lines denote it as data or instruction flow lines, right? Normally, we can give some data and it is, uh, those are flowing like this way and go, uh, go out, right? Okay, so this is the time to ask some questions. So, uh, can you tell me, uh, I have to see some names. Uh, uh, Chirana, Chirana is there? Chirana, Chirana, you can unmute your mic. Chirana, you can, uh, right, Chirana. Okay, Achira, Achira, right. Uh, can you tell me um, what is this? So normally we are uh, we have to use this part to give to insert uh, data and instructions to the computer. What is this, Achira? You can unmute your machine. You can unmute Achira. Right. Okay, Dolni. Ah, yes. Ach Achira, is that Achira? Yes, miss. Ah, very good. That is uh, input device. Very good, right? Okay. Uh, next chance. Uh, uh, Udan. Udan Tulni. Udan, Udan, can you tell me uh, the, these are the devices we can get some output? What is that? Output devices. Very good, right? That is output devices, right? Now, uh, um, Ashan, uh, normally we can keep our data and information permanently. What is this part? Secondary memory. Very good. Secondary storage. Sorry. Uh, right. It can automatically our command. Right. So this that is secondary storage devices. So you know this is the main memory. Another name for that main memory uh, we can say it as random access memory RAM. Singhaling api kena pati sasambhavi pravesha matake, right? Uh, normally, we can input some data. Normally, it goes to the main memory. Then uh, after the processing in this part, it uh, goes to here again and it passes to the output devices, right? So, this is, I consider it as the airport, right? Normally, we, are, we have to go to the airport, right? So just like that, uh, this is uh, this is the temporary memory space that we call random access memory. That is volatile memory. You can remember. Right. Uh, next chance goes to... Uh, this is the small memory part. Normally, you can see this is the this uh, blue color part is uh, central processing unit. Madhyama sekasum make okay, right? Okay, so I uh, I want to ask. Uh, so this is the small memory part, but it is included inside the CPU. Puvishna, um, uh, can you? Say Yes, what is this? Yes, very good. This is registers, right? Now, uh, normally our, our in our brain also normally we can think, right? We can we can think logically, right? We can compare those things, right? But according to that, in in the computer me memory, normally we can consider this as the memory, not, not memory that is brain, right? So. Uh, it has some one of the part it can uh, normally it compare some parts and it can do some uh, arithmetical things also right okay minada minada 
You can unmute your mic and can you tell me the answer? Uh, okay, Mulani, Mulani, Mulani. So what is this part? Right, so I have to see. Mulani. Arithmetic and logical units. Is that Mulani? Mulani? Okay, okay. It is arithmetical and logical unit, right? Then me Katakran and Etikati can a machine conquer the Venepo Hariki Hila, Evagada than Nan, eh? But they hurry, Emma in the behem. Hurry, then Katia in no machine Nikalang, in no Nibalan with online Kernike, then even I think recording Nikabalanikang in Kulan put any the online Kernike Kadiatama Volo with any no Nima Avadaning, no Nihan, no Nipression, eh? Chance at the end the hurry. Okay, so this is arithmetical and logical unit. So, what is the last one? Randil, Randil, this is your chance. Uh, can you tell me? Oh, commands and control unit. Yeah, that control is unit. yeah, that is control unit. Very good, Randil, right? That is control unit, right? So you can see because it normally sends some uh, commands to the ALU registers, output devices, input devices, and for the secondary and for the main memory also, right? So that's why we call we can consider it as control unit, right? So you have to remember this part also, right? Now, um, okay, we can move, uh, right? So you know uh, input devices that is very easy from the grade six. Also you learn six and seven, eight, right? So therefore no need to go in more detail, right? But you just you have to revise your knowledge. Then keyboard is the main input device, Pradhana Dhanupange. Then after pointing devices, so you can see some example for the pointing devices. And there are some imaging and video devices right so what are they digital camera webcam cctv those are the example for imaging and video devices then scanners there are some uh, scanner types flatbed scanners normally you uh, you can see those type of scanners right most of the shops and most of the normally houses they have flatbed uh, flatbed scanners right and barcode reader Right, you can see barcode reader each and everywhere. So normally in supermarkets, you can see barcode readers, right? Okay, then MICR. So you, you can remember my, uh, mag. Okay, okay. I I want to ask one of the question from MICR. What is MICR? Anybody can talk. MICR. Minu. Can you tell me what is MICR? Uh, miss, I don't know. What is, who's that? Randil? No, Miss. Uh, who, 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 Magnetic ink character reader. Uh, what's your name, Puta? Randil. Ah, Randil. Yes, this is magnetic ink character reader. Very good, right? OCR. So why we are using MICR? Randil, can you tell me? MICR, Magnetic Ink Character Reader. I could check. Oh, sorry? To check the yeah. accuracy of a check. Yes, for the check clearance. When you are when you are doing the check clearance, normally banks they are doing they are using that magnetic ink character reader to uh, check whether the that uh, uh, check is uh, normally valid one or invalid. So they are using MICR. Very good, very good. Okay, very good, Randil. Right. Okay, OCR. Next one, OCR. Uh, OCR. Right. Anybody? Any volunteer? OCR. Character recognition. Optical characters. 
yeah optical character reader yes ocr that is normally if you use the ocr you can uh, scan the document and you can get uh, get uh, text document right apita ocr ekin puluwang scan karala text document ekak ganna text document ekak kiyanne normally it is uh, editable one right uh, what about omr uh omr optic yeah optical mark, optical mark reader yes very good omr normally when you are doing the we can use that omr device to check the my um, uh, mcq right okay multiple choice questions very good uh, atm you know that is normally we are using microphone right for the sound input we can use microphone right okay now we can move to the next so then after we have to think about the output devices so we can give some normally computer can uh, give some output as soft copy there are several methods then normally we uh, basic things are soft copy as a soft copy it can give output and hard copy and sound output right soft copy mean we can, that is intangible we cannot touch right normally uh, as a soft copy um uh, example can you tell me uh, how to get the uh, output as soft copy through the Rinzan, how can we get that uh, soft copies? What devices or what type of devices we have to use to get the output device, uh, soft copy output? Rinzan, anyone, anybody? Basically. Yeah, monitor, right? So by using the monitor, we can get the soft copy, right? Okay, uh, then uh, soft copy, when we are getting the soft copy, so when we consider the monitors, you can remember there are three types of monitors. There are three types of monitors. Anybody can tell me uh, there are three types of monitors. Okay, anybody? Uh, Cathode ray tube monitor. Yeah, CRT, another one. LCD. LCD. Yeah, LED. LCD and LED. LED. Very good. Yes. LED. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I have to ask, uh, they are, then uh, there are some harmful rays emitted from that device and um, it is very, that portability is very low, right? Uh, harmful race, uh, monitor is that uh, yeah, that is CRT, very good, right? CRT, right? And um, uh, normally expensive than CRT and uh, uh, it is portability is very high. What is that? So it's slim. We need. Yeah, LED. 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 Uh, yeah, and C, uh, LCD, both you can consider, right, okay. Then uh, hard copy, right? When we consider the hard copy, then what is the main device we can get the hard copies from the computer? That is, those are printers, right? You can remember printers can divide into two categories, impact, non-impact, impact. Gutana, single link in Apti Gutana. Impact can very noisy, right? When we touch, what will happen? Make a noise, right? When it is touched, make a noise. So that so that type of computers we call we can consider as uh, impact printers, right? Uh, and it is inefficient, right? And you can see the example dot matrix printer, line printer. Both are normally we can use. Uh, we can get some output. Uh, uh, hard copies black and white only right but when you are using the non-impact printers you know there are some examples laser printers bubble jet inkjet thermal printers normally you know uh, you have some experience with the laser printer bubble jet inkjet printer uh, all um, uh, those are uh, normally you, you can get uh, that printouts as black and white colored both right and it is efficient 
right? Laser printer, more expensive, right? Then thermal printer, you can see some when you're getting some, uh, when you're using the ATM machine, you, if you uh, request the slip, then you can get it uh, by uh, through the thermal printer, no? Right, right, okay. So there are so many things you have to re revise, right? And sound output you can uh, get through the speakers, okay. Right, let's move to the next. CPU, right, I forgot to put the, uh, animation for this then only i can ask some question now it's okay you know there are three the three sections alu cu and memory registers and you have to remember the uh, functionalities of each section right so alu what is that perform all mathematical and logical functions ogolange mole athuleth me kotasa thiyena samaharunge aduwen thiyena samaharunge wediyen thiyena e adu wedi yanawa thamai ogolanta oy ganan karanna puluwan saha bari vela thiyena hari so okay but you can uh, you can uh, increase that uh, size of that part right samanne wata e mole e kotasa ogonna wardane kara ganna puluwan wedi wediyen ganan hadala right okay anyway but uh, computer has that part we can consider it as alu that is arithmetical and logical unit right control unit you know control all the devices just like a principal in uh, in your school right uh, memory registers right that is uh, you know smallest okay what are the things you can say about the me uh, memory registers ashan i told the smallest one what about uh, another one smallest Minu, Minu. Yes, you can say you can remember uh, memory hierarchical diagrams, right? Uh, so you have to remember those things when uh, when you're using that. that we can remember that in lesson number three, uh, we have that hierarchical diagrams. Then you can remember registers, smallest and fastest memory uh, chip, right? Smallest and fastest. That is very important. Temporarily stores the data needed for the function of ALU and uh, uh, information produced by ALU, right? Okay, so those are the things we have to remember regarding CPU, right? Single medium. Then after computer memory, that is very important. So there is some mistake with your book, right? Uh, some versions, it's okay, they are corrected. Computer memory can divide into two categories, primary memory and secondary memory, not the main memory, right? This should be primary memory. Singhaling up again, prathamika matake. Are prathamika? Okay, primary memory. Then primary memories, under that, there are some primary memories, RAM. So this is the main memory, pri primary memory, random access memory. One of the primary memory is main memory that we call random access memory. So another name for the RAM is main memory, Pradhana Mataka. Another one, read-only memory. That is one of the example for the primary memory. Another one, registers. Another one, cache. Right, cash can be a lot of single medium daro. I want the registers can be put the register my right and it cut here and it take a from non tiga tiya no but no matra mata ke right so that is very important but when you consider secondary storage devices so what are the parts I I will send this not also right. Ah, so this is something about the cache memory. Uh, why we are using cache memory? Then cache memory also volatile memory. Make a nashya mata kya? Cache memory kya ne pute? Make a hari me Normally CPU speed of the CPU is very high compared with the prime uh, main memory, not the primary memory, main memory that is RAM. RAM me kya CPU kya ne? CPU kya ne langa? Itne di the CPU ki speed ki tamat badi compared me me. Pratimika Mata, sorry, Pradana Mataka, Ramaka take a consider me compare Karadi. The uh, CPU has far, far, normally faster than CPU is faster than RAM. Uh, it's a bit of speed mismatch. Chakatina. So you can see there is a speed mismatch. So to reduce that speed mismatch between the CPU and RAM, we can use uh, we, we can use another uh, memory part. This is fast, normally fast, fastest. 
uh, memory chip that is we call cache memory right you can remember in our memory hierarchical diagram after the uh, registers after the registers uh, another fast fastest one is another fast uh, memory chip is cache memory right so that's why we use in between the primary memory and cpu right sorry not the primary memory main memory right and take one matakati make it easy that you know cache varga tuna dunna puti level one level two level three here la level one in within in, in inside the cpu right you can remember those things Right, right, cache memory right. So this is level one, right? I cannot draw today, right? Level two, and this is level three, right? Normally, level two, uh, most of the computers has level one and level two, uh, but uh, level one is the smallest and fastest uh, one, level two, bigger than L1 level 3 bigger than l2 right so this is the slowest one right then there are three uh, types of uh, cache memories right okay uh, then we'll move to the next right okay uh, then uh, you can read those things and all right now we can also this is the single medium one Okay, and uh, secondary storage devices we can divide into uh, three categories according to the storage medium, right? Storage medium. If it is uh, magnetic, if, they, if it is used uh, magnetic media, so we call uh, magnetic media devices. So those are the examples. So you have to re remember those things. Optical media, normally laser beam making data stalker and put it that we call optical media devices. So those type that example for that CD, DVD, Blu-ray, CDs, right? Solid state devices, you can see USB and memory card, right? It use on the chips, teacher, right? Yes. Teacher, did, yes, I, did I, I have any, I have any question? Yes, what is floppy disk? Sorry, floppy, floppy. Floppy disk. Yeah, floppy, floppy disk. disk mean earlier we had used some that type of uh, uh, storage device. That is the memory capacity just like 1.44 MB, right? Okay, uh, so it is uh, just like a, um, can you remember a cream cracker? Right, so that much size, and uh, it has the cover. That it, it is covered by the plastic cover, and uh, it has a small uh, uh, layer. Right, uh, right, just like that is also uh, one of the example for uh, yeah magnetic storage floppy disk. Right nowadays. What do you mean? Uh, sorry, Buta. Yes, yes, yes. I can remember. Ah, yes. yes, I can okay. remember, Miss. Okay, put that right. Right now, let's move to the uh, next one. We have only uh, here, so you, you have to re remember the, the parts of the hard disk also, right? Uh, anybody can tell me uh, the what is the first one? Number one, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, anybody, Uvini? Miss, I have a question regarding that. Can you explain that? And uh, level one, two, three, bit more because I didn't come to the class. Later. Ah, okay, okay, Puta. Okay, now today uh, uh, we have only um, four minutes. Uh, sh shall I explain it uh, next day? Because uh, today I, I have to finish this one, uh, uh, this class in uh, within 40 minutes because I have to go to the uh, uh, to meet the doctor, right? Okay, Puta. Next day I will uh, explain it again. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Can you uh, tell me, Puta, number one? Disc, Anybody? disc, miss? Yeah, disc. it's disc, disc, very good, right? It is disc. Uh, so we can say platter, right? Platter, right? This is the disc here. Yeah? So that is, we call platter. Uh, second one? Spindle. spindle. Yeah, spindle, right? Uh, third one? Head. head. Yeah, that is head, right? Uh, fourth one? Activator arm. arm. Yes. Yeah, activator arm. Uh, fifth one? Power connector. Yes, power connector. Uh, sixth one? IDE connector. Yes. Why we are using IDE connectors? 
What is the function to, to function? transmit data to platter? Very okay. good, right? To transmit the data here, this is uh, normally power connector. You uh, pass the electricity, but ID uh, use the data, pass the data, right? The seventh one, Puta. Actuator. 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 Yes, very good. Actuator, right? Uh, it is a electronic uh, part, right? Uh, it has electricity, right? So it use uh, electricity use to uh, move the actuator arm, right? Okay. Now you have to go to that, right? Uh, next day, uh, yeah. Port. Uh, you have to revise uh, the things with uh, about the ports, right? Um, we have only two minutes. Okay. Can you tell me uh, what is this? This so small uh, circular. Ports, PS2 ports? PS2, right? Nowadays we are not using, uh, earlier we used to connect uh, keyboards and mouse, right? Uh, second one, Puta, nowadays you cannot see. Parallel, yeah, parallel, parallel board used uh, earlier to uh, uh, connect the printers, right? Uh, I think uh, time is up now, right? Uh, again, uh, uh, next week, uh, simply we can go through that and you have to you you have to go through the second lesson and uh, please uh, revise the uh, things the next week we can uh, stop we can stop uh, this second lesson and we can start the uh, new lesson right okay have a nice day today thank you teacher okay you are welcome thank you teacher